Hey Techies, Anthony from Hashers Nut here, and today we're going to take a look at uh, XSplit. I'm going to do a small tutorial on, of course, how to stream. And as you see on the screen here, I have this blank screen here. It says it's live. Um, that's just the name of the scene I am using here. So uh, to broadcast, simply go to the broadcast button. As you see here are my channels that I have set up. And uh, you want to set up a new output, and you can select from these pre-loaded ones. Um, and if you saw the plug-in video, you can actually see how to add more. And uh, you just choose the one you want. So let's do custom RTMP, and um, it will load up all of this. So obviously, you want to name your stream. You want to set up a description. And then you would go to wherever you're streaming to, if it isn't a pre-arranged one from the plugins, like the Twitch or the Twitter, uh, you would grab a URL. Now, uh, then you would grab a stream key, which they would provide, and uh, share link uh, for people to you know see your video, assuming that there's some type of relay that will be uh, providing that information. And then um, you probably don't have to mess with user agent or channel credentials, although it wouldn't hurt to test bandwidth. Uh, it will actually test your bandwidth. Uh, codec. So you can set where the codec is. Uh, obviously, you see I'm using my GPU, which is an RTX 3080, uh, but you can also use your CPU, and uh, or you can use the in built card, his CPU is here, this is the inbuilt card or built in card uh, on the motherboard and then of course you know here's my 3080 and then you can set your bitrate um, just for a heads up uh, 4800 is probably the best you're going to get without the Twitch or YouTube yelling at you um, but 1000 is kind of low end but I mean if you have a, a slower computer 1000 is a, is a fine starting spot you might want to try a smaller resolution lower frame rate for in which case that would be appropriate for whatever your needs are. Um, so encoding, uh, AAC is default here, uh, at least here you can't change it. Um, the bit rate for the audio, uh, 128 is stereo quality, anything better is gravy. Uh, then of course stereo format, mono is you know single channel, stereo is two channel. Uh, don't worry about the adapter, uh, your system will just pick it up on its own. Automatically save recordings on local drive if you want to save them as well as stream them. Now keep in mind if you're streaming for hours upon hours, these files are going to be huge. Uh, Multi-track is for audio and um, depending on your system setup, how many auto channels you have based on your graphics card, uh, that's well, what you'll see if you go like to edit the video. Uh, for example, I used to have a GTX 1660 and the audio uh, channels, there was four or five. There was uh, left and or there was microphone one, microphone two, or camera one, camera. Each of the microphones had one. And then uh, there was uh, channels for the system sound, channels for the audio devices, etc. So I had five channels. Uh, on the R uh, RTX 3080, um, as I go here and go, is that right? Yeah, RTX 3080. Uh, I think I have six channels now. I don't know what the news channel is, but you know, sound cards are all different. Uh, my older computer, there's only three channels: uh, the the individual camera and local channel, and of course the combined. So it really depends on what you have here. But if you want to be able to edit them individually, you definitely want to click this right here and set it. Uh, next is interleave audio and video in one channel. Um, your call. I I I, I kind of. I'll show you how my settings are by default, and you can make that judgment call. Enable stream delay. If you want to delay your stream a little bit, allow a larger buffer for the people who are watching. Uh, this is particularly good if you have a just a slow connection. And, um, and then, of course, you can remove the, uh, the output. Now, I'm going to show you uh, one I already have created. This is my custom uh, connection to... Um, Restream. So I don't put a description. I have Restream here. I have the channel's URL. Uh, here's the stream key. Um, obviously, it's blacked out for you. You cannot see it. But uh, typically, uh, the stream key is provided by the provider, as I had mentioned. And, um, and then here is my share link, which is my web address. And uh, then uh, you know the user agents by default. And again, here I have my CPU co uh, encoding instead of my graphics card. Uh, I have C4800 right here. The mode, you know, you can click on data here to find out what you exactly need. But CBR, I think, is the preferred for for Twitch and Restream and and YouTube. So you know, probably this is the way to go. And as you can see, I because you can set all of this stuff here by clicking here. And you can set keyframes and the encoder and the buffer. The buffer, I mean, you can set the buffer here or 
in this settings area. And the rest of it, you can pretty much leave alone. Just the faults are all good. And again, we go here, you see I do use 128 and uh, stereo. And again, let the, the adapter decide. I don't save locally. If you've watched any of my live streams, you will see that uh, some of mine are like four hours long and that, that's gigs upon gigs of of media. So we just don't do that. But when I do like interviews, I'll, I'll automatically record and I'll create a multi-track. And um, obviously this only applies when you're streaming so if I'm doing live, obviously I'm going to record it because I'll probably repost it later uh, after some editing. And then, of course, there's these here I mentioned before. And again, remove the output. Now, once you are ready to go, you then would do the just simply click on here and that will stream it. That's all you need to do. Uh, and it will start broadcasting. I'm not going to do it here. Um, but if you want it to select a specific one, you can also do it from here. Now, whatever your, is your last used live stream, you can simply just click the stream button and it'll do it. But if you want to select it, of course, you can do this drop down. Tell me in the comments your thoughts in this video. Did you like what you saw and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.